I'm in Dubai for a few days on business and will be speaking at the MENA SCF conference organised by BCR and hosted by the Dubai Chamber of Commerce. Flying Emirates, so I'm being picked up in a chauffeur-driven limousine. The Sheraton Dubai Creek Hotel have been very helpful, allowing me to check in at 10 a.m. after an overnight flight, even though normal check-in time is 3 p.m. We're taking a water taxi across the creek now to visit the old market. We're taking an Uber back across the creek by road now where we will find the souks. Here we have the gold souk, the spice souk and the so-called utensils souk which sells all sorts of kitchen equipment and ornaments. This is where you can see a huge array of spices including saffron which is available in several qualities and is very expensive. And here is a shop selling gold ornaments as well as more spices with a couple of very well behaved children waiting outside for their parents. This is the gold souk area where you can see some very ornate items of jewellery. Most of it is 24 karat and really quite yellow in appearance. Subtle it is not. The gold comes from Zimbabwe best not to ask too many questions regarding sanctions or money laundering. Back down to the creek we see the local dows which are used for freight and for entertainment with many restaurants and cruises available. Today most of the freight appears to be air conditioning units. The crew told us that they are bound for Iran. Again, best not to ask too many questions about sanctions. here we see some floating restaurants built in the traditional Dao style. We're approaching the Hotel and Dubai Chambers now where we will be presenting tomorrow and here we see some very expensive yachts at their moor moorings just behind Dubai Chambers. Just across the busy main road from Dubai Chambers we see a traditional mosque amongst the modern hotel tower blocks. And further along the creek even more dows being loaded with freight. In this case the cargoes are mostly tyres. Now back to the hotel where we find a British pub, the Chelsea Arms, next door to a Turkish carpet shop. And finally, after a successful conference, I was able to catch up with an old friend, Chris, a captain with Emirates, for dinner at the Yacht Club. All very civilised.